Hey guys, welcome back to Space Engineers! I am playing on our wonderful server here with Landstrider. Woohoo! Uh, not not flame back in the background there. Hello. And our brand new buddy Scatman. Hey dude, how you doing? How's it going, guys? Ooh, hey! Today we are finally gonna take this great big hulk that we got underneath our feet up into space. Now we can just talk and we'll we'll get some candid conversation. So I, uh, I've already docked a ship over here for if we get into a fight, we can somebody can run out and jump in a fighter. Uh, on the side, okay. Oh, 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 inertial dampeners, they get me again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, by the uh, the airlock that we installed last time. Ooh, with double airlock. All the way double through. Airlock, yeah. oh, All I the way through. I like this. With another, with another docking port for a second, uh, second fighter. This definitely gets the twitchy seal of approval. Arr, arr, arr. All right, I haven't actually set up the two co-pilot seats up here yet, but I figured one of them could be one of them could be like engineering, yeah, engineering with like shields and jump drive and stuff like that. So science officer, and then um, uh, what the other one would be security weapons, officer. maybe something security like that. Officer. I tell you one thing that I will do. Learning my lesson from last time is to take one of these ship, uh, one of these um, seats over here, and I'm just going to set up the turrets quick. Yeah, last time when we were in combat, I spent most of my time scrambling around trying to find the ones with the cut with the uh, turrets that had already been set up, rather than being able to take part in the combat, which was a bit, bit of a shame, obviously. And I also have this on my main console. Red alert! Red alert! I hear that! Ah, oh, panic! <laughs> <laughs> Is that ship wide? I assume that's ship wide. We're on the ground yeah. and we're already going down. Doors closed, oxygen and systems are on. Quiet blizzard incoming. Or, yeah, biz blizzard incoming here. Well, what a, what a perfect time to, to duck out of the atmosphere. Yes, it is. Gravity whales suck. Let's get out of here. Uh, we're rising. Visibility has dropped to 2%. I'm not sure about the number, but oh, I can barely even see Beta down there. Bunch of... Punch it, he says. Ooh. Oh, yeah. We are clear of the weather system. That is a much steeper climb than we were achieving last time. Oh, yeah. We are headed. We are actually headed for our first space station base that not put put together for us. Kind of had to abandon. <laughs> you can tell that story. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not tell that story. <laughs> yeah, well, got it all put together. Let's see. What was it? A stalker drone show up. Very first thing. It got stuck on the far side of the asteroid, literally stuck, was trying to fly through the asteroid to get to me. But yeah, a string of uh, string of corrupt drones coming in after us up there. Alright, so we need uh, to watch out for resistance when we get up there. Yeah. Uh, anything that says uh, target spot, uh, target found, transmitting target coordinates, yeah, it means you were prepared for something big coming. Because I took, uh, took out, or my turrets took out one that did, was doing that the other day and I went and jumped in my cryopod and stepped away from the keyboard for a few minutes and came back and was no longer in my cryopod. Wow. I, I was standing at the med center. <laughs> Ripped through your base. So I, wow. I, I, I re-energized and healed myself up and walked back over to, to go back out into the main part of the base and found nothing but flaming wreckage. I like the amount of curvature we can see behind us. It's, uh, it's nice. Really, it really lets us know we're on a tiny planet. Yeah, man, now that smaller planet though still has the one G gravity as Earth. <laughs> yeah, I've 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 also been remarking at this during the playthrough. That's been like half the size. <laughs> I did actually look up the uh, the value of of gravity on Triton. It was like zero point zero zero something. You know, it was uh, it was remarkably small. So funny thing, Space Engineer's screenshot button is F four. I, I was trying to take a screenshot the other day. And I had my alt button held down, trying to get all the uh, <laughs> the GPS markers in full view as well. Hello. Yeah. Ooh, we are we are we out in space yet? How how far do we have to go until we are out out in the wilds? It, it looks to me like if we start basically to that asteroid, it's at the edge of uh, gravity. Well, it's at the end. Oh, I have no yeah. idea how to read the edge of the gravity. Well, yeah, down on the bar, down where you have the artificial horizon on your uh, basic your main bar there's a gravity and p gravity ah yes p gravity is planetary gravity and a gravity is artificial gravity okay now that we're down to 0.23 we're just waiting for it to go down to zero okay i see oh asteroid just popped into view 0.7 oh geez yep 
point sit, point oh six. When you hit point oh five, you are officially out of the well. And we are officially out of the gravity well. Way. Yeah, zero zero is across the board. Nice, beautiful. I oh, just happened to choose a rock with a big old lump of uranium in it. Nice, I like that. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of convenient. It happened to come. Yeah, the one yeah. straight up from Knox Base, base. Yeah, we got up into space and that thing was sitting right in front of us. There's the defense tower. Ooh, what's my shields popping? All oh, my shields are popping. <laughs> I'm, I'm cleaning up debris. I say there's probably debris all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Kessler effect already. You guys have been up here for like five minutes. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna disembark. Remember the air pressure is a thing. Yes, and please conserve oxygen. Oh, didn't didn't shut my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that would help actually. I need to do that too. Alright, first steps outside. What have we got? Nice. Got the inability to close the, the airlock. There we go. Oh, the view of Triton is amazing. Oh, especially with the way we've got like the Terminator set up across like the day-night cycle. Oh, that's great. Inbound drone. It's about, to get it's about to get annihilated if it is. Yeah, it's about to come in range. Oh, it's oh, been targeted. Okay. It's targeted. Experimental drone. Oh, it's toast. Now the ship's targeting it. Oh, it's toast. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, this out of the way. <laughs> A couple miss. I need to change that. Wow, and need to debris. look at the debris. I just turned missile launchers off. <laughs> oh, wow. I like that shield. I love my shield. <laughs> that was awesome. Just vaporized. <laughs> vaporized it, yeah. I, I was going to say, I'd say platinum hunting. Platinum hunting. Okay, so moon it is. We're looking for platinum. All right, okay. Yeah. I need to find my way back to a br oh, the bridge, bridge signs. Brilliant. Ah, oh, oh, these magnetic boots dragging me up walls. It's these, it's these uh, fancy corridors. They definitely uh, cause some issues with mag boots. Sweet. Yeah, these little diagonal bits because of, because of the triangle, it really wants you to walk in the in the middle of the line. It's it's not great. We got a red planet, which I assume is supposed to represent Mars, and we've got the Earth-like planet, which definitely has a moon. Yeah, the Mars-like one should have two little moons, right? Two little asteroids around it. But asteroids are not full-size moons, so maybe maybe we'll try the Earth-size one. That that's my theory. All right, all right. Everybody seated. Everybody good. I am seated and ready. Seated. I'm guessing because I can't tell where I'm at at the moment. Oh, you were behind me, kind of floating. For oh no, you're seated. You're good. As long as he's in a seat. You know, because my view is putting outside the ship as the ship moves away. You, you appear to have been in my seat. I keep watching your marker disappear down, but then snap back up. I'm going to assume it's just server lag. Yeah, to me, like you're sitting here floating in space as well near me. That's good. That's good. As, lo as long as we're close by and I travel with the ship, then we'll assume we're traveling together. We can go 2,382 kilometers with our current configuration. We've got five jump drives on this. Oh, wow. The, the problem with the distance, saying we can go 2,000 whatever, is I have no idea how far away that planet is. <laughs> I don't either. I'm thinking maybe I should actually like point at the planet, because it won't let us go through it. Okay. It'll put it right, right at the edge. It's probably about 30 or 40,000. Okay. More. Seated crew, four. Operational jump drives, five. Weight to transport, five million point two. Five point two million tons. Whoa. Go. Oh, we're charging. Oh, the effects. Ah, oh, I wish we had the third-person view because we get the we get the I got the jump drive lines. Hey, Whoa. we are here. We're sort of here. I, I think it, it put us pretty close. <laughs> uh, that was pretty good. We gotta go to the other side of the planet, but other than that, yeah. Kamikaze drone. Oh well, I guess we don't gotta worry about that. It'll come for us. Yeah, he's, he'll be he'll be inbound. Actually, he doesn't. Is he coming? Uh, no. Yeah, well, he yeah, he's coming now. Here he comes. He's getting closer. 2.8, 2.6, two and a half kilometers away. What is the range on the guns? Of, uh, of one kilometer maximum, and then they're really not really accurate until they get about 600. So I've I've, I've turned our 
auto targeting down to about 600 i think okay all right here we go down into the hundreds of meters this should be relatively quick right it's like we're, we're bristling with turrets and it's just a drone though it is coming right at us all right will will the shields protect us from the shower of debris oh look at that Ooh. maybe yeah yeah it was good yeah no damage Anticlimactic. <laughs> oh no, I kind of I like the way the debris just came like firing at us. There's usually stations around the moon, like only like five kilometers up from, from the surface, because the gravity is only like what point 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 twenty five, I think. So the ENC uh, MC, they're the guys who had the contracts and stuff for us, right? Um, uh, possibly. Possibly. Okay. They are definitely a station. I don't know. The EMC one looked like might be a base. It's looking might more be. low down the closer we get, oh, but I don't okay. know. There's a SMHI beacon now. Wow, wow there is a is... lot of stuff here. Yeah. Oh, there's this bubble. Yeah, that's definitely in space. Oh wow, that yeah, that bubble is mighty distorting. It's not. It's definitely not on the surface. A kilometer away, I'm gonna get out and have a look at the front. I think this might be a time to do an escort mission as well. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm about to pierce the bubble. I was wondering if it was set up on an asteroid, but it looks like it's just a base. Just a station, yeah. Generally, that's where they are. I don't, I've never seen one set up on an asteroid. Although, that doesn't mean much. I haven't seen a lot in this game yet. In we go. And thankfully, you can tell they're friendly because they're white. They, I mean, they wouldn't lie to us, would they? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> all right. I'm just going to look in awe and wonder rather than actually do anything. Pretty much what I do. Right, how do we even get in here? <laughs> uh, docking arm. Uh, that's the orientation. I'll wait here. here. I'll wait in the airlock for everybody. Yay! Woo! Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> I got some cosmic coffee. Uh, not anymore. Access denied. <laughs> Ooh, I got some escort missions. I like it. Whichever one you feel we can take on, Captain. I feel like. The most fun one for us and the audience is definitely going to be a escort. Yeah, let's do an escort. There's only one in here right now. <laughs> We're only halfway in the bubble. That's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, all we needed was the uh, the airlock, right? They are moving out. Where Following. are they? I do not see them. Below us right now. Ah, the ENMC cargo ship. All right. Attempting to match their speed. Good luck with the matching of the speed at this distance. <laughs> they need one of those relative speed readouts like Kerbal's got. You know, when you're approaching your target, it's like, hey, that's going that fast and you're this far away from it. See, right now I'm like, do I want to take control of the turret or do I want to let the computer deal with it? They're probably better at it than I am. Here comes the first wave. Oh, gravity well. I mean, I'm firing a strong reload. Oh, I'll try and not shoot at the ship. That's going to be the, the big problem, right? No! They got. It took hits. Um, that was not a very good escort job so far. I mean, taking hits and, and dying are two separate things. <laughs> I'd be like, what? Uh, you look so what if you lost all your crew <laughs> and cargo? Your ship got there, right? <laughs> it's all hostiles it's okay. down. Yeah. I gotta also stay away from their ship enough that our shields don't destroy them. Yeah, yeah. Better also if you can invert us. You have more guns on your top than you do on your bottom. Coming around. Ooh, barrel roll. I mean, it's not a barrel roll, but <laughs> barrel roll. Sounds like you're oh. in a jet fighter. <laughs> oh, ah. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Incoming wave. Shoot me, oh shit. And they are vaporized. Nice. I feel like I did a good shot. Oh, good job oh what happened there? They're taking a missile hit back there. Oh, there's yeah, a small one behind it. No, oh, they're dead now, actually. Okay, we're good. Cruising on. Each combat is over so quickly, it's hard to get an idea of what, what's going on. Maybe. Maybe it's not coming at all. Oh, we got some troubles coming. up front. Coming. Oh, bullets fly everywhere. Yeah, we got we got them well shielded now. Oh, he oh, ran right. into our shields. Oh wow! Hit shield, nice. 
Is the tusk going to get taken out? Oh, explosions as I'm watching. Beautiful. He did make it a little bit closer than I would personally like, but that thing's still firing bullets. There we go. Uh, they took some damage to the front back there, it looks like. Uh, there is a scatter cannon drone inbound at our rear. Is it after us or them? I'm not entirely certain, them. but it is definitely coming in our direction. Uh, <laughs> so I've come enemy. out for a bit of a personal view to the turrets. I am here as the war correspondent on the surface of the moon. Chaos has erupted everywhere. <laughs> oh, there we go. Fight us away. Where is our friend right now? Maybe someone go over there with a welder and like picks them up, picks up anything. Yeah, I'm trying. To, it's difficult to spot them actually. Yeah, they're right at the, they're right towards the sun at the moment, so it does make it a little difficult. Well, it's I not... see that it's open over there though. Oh! oh, was it that one? Oh, that didn't have a, a beacon around it for me. That's why I couldn't see it. I didn't hit the shield, did it? We just lost our contract. Ah. Dang it. What did? Tusk. The tusk. Oh. There's a tusk back here still. I was trying to get to it, but tusk took him out first. Dang. So did we get too far away? Was that the problem there? Uh, no, we just let some get by, basically. And then it's down to the surface. We want to land near the ice. That way we can have ice and maybe find platinum too. Yeah, if we can find anything right near the edge of what is essentially our power source, I think that'd be a good idea. I was thinking maybe the pole would be a good place to, to land as well because if we was going to set up any kind of... I mean, I definitely would like to second the pole idea. You know, that 24-hour solar power, that, that, that would be nice. Which is yeah. really the only reason to go to the poles, right? Right, ice. and we won't have any yeah, ice and ice and pa ice pa power and two from two sources basically ice and solar. And obviously, as the ice pirates, the uh, the cats are our natural habitat. Yar. Indeed, ar. <laughs> you know, usually whenever I go to the third person, I always have to like zoom in because you're so far away. With this vehicle, I actually have to zoom out. <laughs> yeah, I keep finding yeah. myself not able to zoom as far out as I want to. <laughs> From this distance, it definitely looks like the inside of most of the craters have got a lot of ice there. Look at that massive crater right there. On on, on the right. That is a beautiful crater, yes. Yes, I'm thinking like on the rim of that. Yeah. Well, I, I'm almost saying let's colonize the inside and then put like um, infrastructure on the out. Up, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the rim. I might even try and make a little habitat in the crater rim, as in like the, the wall of the crater, so I could have some windows looking out over the crater. I see platinum. Silver and gold, platinum. Yeah, so there's some real nice things around cobalt. Oh yeah, this is the place. Right there on that mountain. On that little tripod where the three ridges come together. Yeah. The view of the Earth like planet's not half bad either. Wow. Well, they're right smack in the middle of everything. There's silver. Nickel, iron, cobalt, magnesium, silicon. Yeah, everything we want. We did Pretty it, much. lads. We found home. Well, 3.25 surface gravity. That's not bad. My top recommendation for one of our first builds should definitely be a level platform to put this down on. Well, I'm hoping for just a, like a port someplace where we can attach. Yeah. Nice. Nearly there. Good job. Oh, look at that. The, the front landing gear is even at the right angle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I figured we'd go up to the top of this mountain and build the solar tower down in and then, like, actually have the base, like, fully inside the mountain. Maybe, like, just a couple spots where it sticks out. That sounds like a great idea. I mean, we almost just need a door sticking up through the surface, right? Maybe, maybe even a bigger... Maybe, yeah, maybe even a big column that has a stairwell or something goes down in. Yeah, yeah. Is there any reason to not start coring out the middle of this mountain. Core it. Go for it. Do it. I'm gonna hope that I'm gravity aligned. So I can turn off my jetpack crouch and look down. Energy low. Oh no, energy low. Quick, that's tiny. Made a mess. Let's go away. Well I'd like to have tiny up here. He he would Oh yeah, fun. not to Ah Ah Oh, I just hit a turret at full speed. I was gonna land gracefully on the deck and then suddenly turret. <laughs> All right, my my body was like 125 meters away already. Where where did it get to? Unfortunately, we'll come to a stop here at least. 
Yeah, yeah, it's not like losing it in space where you hit, hit it at full speed and there it goes, off never to be seen again. <laughs> I'm thinking this power can rotate at the top. Yeah. Yeah. If it can rotate, it should rotate. <laughs> Lord Clang demands it. And oxygen. Ah, uh, yeah, we can put an oxygen farm on this one. Oh, yeah. Actually, I don't need to do that. Is that running off ice or...? No, no, um, oxygen farms, they, uh, they have plants inside of them and then they generate small amounts of oxygen when exposed to sunlight. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. I keep trying to scroll my mouse wheel to send me through my hotbar. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it keep giving me the corner piece? Yeah, whenever you rotate, when, you know, switch blocks, it seems like it does that to me too. I constantly cut them back out because I wanted the solid block, not the corner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Problem. It, it literally is refusing to give me anything in this metal corner. I don't understand why. Do you have that? Do you not have the group on your bar instead? Um, so I've gone through it. I've done it like several ways. Uh, like I've, I've cleared it and then dragged the specific one that it offers you up in the top right. I've taken the whole group down. I've gone via the progression and done, taken it out of there. It just keeps on giving me that that corner whenever. Ah, oh, it's done it again. Oh. <laughs> Well, if anybody knows what's going on with that, I'm definitely going to put this in the video because it's super frustrating. <laughs> I keep trying to scroll my mouse wheel to send me through my hot bar. It does have a tier 3 drill now. So when Nock gets back, he has a tier 3 drill. And it has created some hydrogen bombs. So it's ready to go. Oh, I hit. And some attacking us. It's like attacking what us. Is attacking? Or is it attacking? What oh, is whatever it was, I've just come out in time to watch it fall to the floor and destroy. Fireworks! That, Yay! Why are our shields down? Are not our shields are not down. Those are just pieces that are made. <laughs> it's very reminiscent of fireworks. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> okay. Somewhat scary shields being out here with it, but looks like it. Shields are holding. How deep do you suppose you need to go before you can make a pretty good sized chamber? I was just it's thinking this. Like I, I, I was wondering because like obviously the first thing i want to do is just dig sideways either towards the crater or oh wow the crater is actually a distance away yeah either well i guess we don't have any orientation but like compass well if you place your blocks down as you go you should have a direction yeah to make sure you stay in a straight line that way so we're going to be we're able to dig deep. quite a large chamber that goes with the with the ridge which i'm gonna call northwest for now and then east, west, left, right is is just going to be a doorway, pretty much. Silicon is our shortage right now. See any of those? Uh, I bet there is somewhere. I got one. It is really nice having that uh, the big thing, the big um, ore detector. detector. Yeah, get that range. And that's because we have the ore detection plus. I don't know. That usually the ore detection is only for even for like the big detectors, only like 150 meters. Oh. Which. I was totally against because the current technology on planet Earth right now, we can detect ore from like miles and miles away. I mean, it essentially does the same of just aimless driving around. Yeah, I mean, yes, that too. Well, like, like you can't get the really deep surface or really deep underground stuff because, you know, 150 meters is not that deep into the ground. No. Uh, we've got like seven kilometers of ground or something like that. We, the current technology on planet Earth, we can already detect ore that's like four or five miles in the ground. Wow. By miles, I mean like ten kilometers down. Yeah, ge geophys, man. It's a, it's a crazy sport. It's sport. Crazy science. Oh, it could be a crazy sport. Why don't we have competitive geophysical research? Like, you, 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 uh, you, you throw a throw a bunch of teams in some mountains you go we we know what's in here you go find out what's in here fastest team wins i mean that that should definitely be it. i bet i bet there I bet there is somewhere so i'm wondering whether you can set up uh, a mini uh mini drone let's call it that's just got like a a grinder head attached to the front you just send it in the side of ships to to go and take out their vital systems that's actually something that that comes after us <laughs> awesome we should use this technology there's, there's, ourselves. There's a mining drone, and there's also a grinding drone that chases ships. These are mildly terrifying. Yeah. And actually, the grinder drone is a vanilla thing. It's, you can find that in um, some of the uh, shipwrecks. Oh, wow. It'll come to life, 
as you get near it, you turn on, turn on its grinder and chase you through the ship as it grinds crazy. Oh, that is, that is cool. That is really cool. Is it wow, you're only like a third away down to the, through the Yeah, mountains. I know, right? I know. It's, uh, it's But that's sick. good. We want, we want the, uh, the, the little thing to be like sitting up on the side, you know? I'm just going to catch my orientation quick. Make sure that we're, I we're dig out sideways in the way that actually we've got some space. <laughs> so I'm going to try to keep this panel compact as possible, so I might make it double-sided. All about compactness. Smaller yeah, smaller target to shoot. Don't want to give the enemies any help. No, it's almost exactly the opposite of what we want to do. <laughs> or, or we get very zen about it and be like, we're, we're here to aid our enemies because that is how we uh, grow as people. We are here to help. <laughs> you seem burdened by your engines and material possessions. <laughs> okay, I totally lost my orientation in freefall there. <laughs> oh, found the surface. All right, the first entrance in the side is a little disappointingly high up the mountain it has to be said disappointingly high up the mountain well maybe maybe you go down deeper for the other side oh I, I will i will be going down deeper anyway but this is i mean if nothing else i put a nice window here well there's a gate in place doesn't oh, quite look as imposing as i was hoping I, I like the placement of it though yeah yeah i like this a lot i'm, I'm now just considering whether to put a window next to it or not Wow, we we got up to some amazing things today, guys. We went around, we did some fights against some pirates. We found ourselves the ultimate planes of ice, and we've got this. I'm going to say base, but the beginnings of uh, survival sorted on the moon. Uh, Landstrider, Scatman, notched even though he's not here. Thank you all, guys, for for being with us. Woohoo! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> And I will catch oh, you guys. Three big bars. <laughs> I will catch you guys Great. next time. Bye. I've lost my wave emo.